Hi, it's Molly Snyder from OnMilwaukee.com and I'm here in Moody Park today with Chris Abley and we're talking about all of the changes that have taken place here in Moody Park which is located at 22nd and Burleigh in Milwaukee and Chris you say this is your favorite park why is this your favorite park? It's uh, my favorite park because I think it demonstrates just how much a great community park can add to the community it serves. Uh, not too long ago, about three years ago, the county put uh, a ton of resources into this park and we've been focusing on parks in uh, the city of Milwaukee. Uh, we knew we wanted to do it, but we didn't just come in with a plan. Uh, we spent a lot of time asking the neighborhood, the neighborhood association, the Imani Neighborhood Association, Children's Adding Association, residents, local businesses, faith groups, uh, and we asked, what do you want to see here? What's important to you? What will you use? Uh, what are the things that uh, would be useful in your park? And uh, we've done this in different neighborhoods, and it's always interesting to me the range of answers you get, but there's a real variance. Uh, but what's great about doing it is that when you've got all that information, what you see around here from a community garden to uh, a great kid, a youth serving nonprofit, Children's Having Association, a children's hospital has a clinic here, there's a school here, community room, splash pad, basketball courts, performance areas, all of this reflects what we heard. Uh, and I remember thinking when we had the first opening of the park here uh, that this wasn't really our park, it was their park, it was the neighborhood's park. But the idea is, hey, you know, let's connect people together and also to remind one uh, neighborhood that, hey, this isn't a forgotten neighborhood. You know, it's an invested in neighborhood, but people feel like it's a forgotten neighborhood when they don't see, a, you know, a county that's caring, or it seems like. Uh, I think the sort of up and down of all the discussion about 53206, the good news is we're paying more attention to an area and a bunch of statistics that we frankly should have been paying more attention to for decades. Uh, I think sometimes the downside though is on the outside people have this notion of this neighborhood like it's just this non-stop war zone and they forget that within 5826 there's wonderful, fantastic, committed residents, wonderful neighborhoods uh, like the people who were involved in uh, helping us put this design together and this is their park, they own that and uh, it's something we want to build on.